opposite of my just touch. It really doesn't take much. Now I've lost my head. And I found my heart where I expected a familiar thud. All I got was a dud. Maybe I feel too much. Maybe I don't feel enough. So, a lot of people ask me about the meaning behind poetry, and I often say, um, it's how the magnets work. There's an answer, but I don't know it. Um, but not tonight. I decided to tell you a bit of the story behind one of my recent artworks. So, a bit of background about my work is that I tend to explore how we relate to ourselves and how that affects our relationship with others. I suppose it's important to therapy for self as well. Um, and part of my research has been about attachment theory, the idea of how our very early development affects our adult relationships. Um, so a couple of weeks ago, I decided to go to London to get some inspiration for some new art. I uh, went to the Tech Modern, and I decided to be picked up from the train, so I brought along the book on attachment theory. Thing. I don't know why it didn't occur to me that bringing up emotional baggage at 100 miles an hour on a train for a stranger might not be the best idea, but at that point I didn't have the ride. So, needless to say, I got to London feeling very overwhelmed, and I'm sure as many Northerners know, London is already very overwhelming. And so, I managed to navigate the clamoring theme like mayor that is the underground and get to the tape, but I was feeling, I, I couldn't focus on anything. I knew I needed to finish the book. So, I sat down on the edge outside and I finished it. And then I stood up and walked into the table and cried in one of the bathrooms. And that's why I decided to call my new piece, I Cried in the Tate Modern Bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's basically just a map of the tape uh, that I stripped the colour away using sandpaper and bleach. Um, I couldn't bring it to life, but you have to imagine it's boring. Um, but we get so obsessed with, with our careers, with our relationships, with our social standing, that we often sacrifice so much of ourselves. We neglect our emotional well-being to chase the destination on somebody else's map to success. It's, so, it's absurd how little we let ourselves feel until we reach an emotional tipping point where we lash out, we break down, we even become physically ill. And so I don't know who needs to hear this, but I did. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be vulnerable. And it's okay to feel. It's only then you can let it heal. Unless you want to be like me and spend hours on the train to London to cry in the toilet. Thank you. <laughs>